Regular season conference champs Nequa Valley looking to add a tournament title to its resume in its first year in the DVC. Wildcats number one Greg Crowley together with Wheaton Warrenville South Sean McCaffrey and Naperville North's Tyler Vincent. Fourth hole Vincent's approach gives him a shot for birdie but the long putt just a bit offline he would tap in for par. Same hole Crowley with the 12 footer doesn't get the hook he's looking for settling for par 19 through 4. Crowley then on 8 just off the green can't find the right line again tapping in with another par. Same hole Vincent saves par with this 7 foot putt he's 4 over on the front 9. Crowley from the rough on 10 with a beautiful chip shot just misses the birdie he taps in the par putt. Crowley with another long putt this time for par on 11 he sinks it. The back and forth continues for the number one. Vincent also sinks the par putt on 11. Crowley reading the greens just right on 13. Saves par with the uphill putt. He's 60 through 13. Vincent's approach on 14 is a useful shot. Just getting on the edge of the green. His extra long birdie putt comes up closer than you'd think. He taps in for par. Sean McCaffrey with a similar line has the ball hooked just before getting to the cup. Settling for par shooting a 77 on the day. Crowley nails down the par putt on 15. He shoots an 85 for the round. Vincent's tee shot on 18 is a beauty, landing him four feet from the cup, but misjudges his line settling for par, shooting an 81 for the tournament. In the end, it's the depth of Nequa Valley that helps the Wildcats win the conference tournament. It was a tough day for me right now. Um, I didn't play well. The start was good. Kept hitting pretty good shots off the tee and left myself in good position to make par. But uh, as the day went on, I started to get a little, a little erratic with my uh, ball flight. I focused a lot on my short game because I'm not the longest hitter, so I put a lot of effort into being able to get it up and down a lot, and today that paid off. And I also keep it well under the wind, and that helped a lot today with these conditions.